And today <clears throat> we lose another rideshare driver. <clears throat> Family remembers man killed in Prince George's County as life-saving community figure. <clears throat> in 2017, um, the victim, Abdul Rauf Khan, received an award for bravery for intervening as an Alexandria police officer was being attacked. Right, so th this is a brave individual who's no longer with us. And um, we send our prayers and our thoughts to the family and we will fight for you on March the 17th on St. Patrick's Day when we are going to strike for safety. This was a carjacking, I believe. Family members are remembering a man gunned down in Prince George's County as a pillar of the community, a man who once saved the life of a Virginia police officer before he was shot while working as a driver. The victim, Abdul Rauf Khan, was found in the street after police responded to a call on Dunlap Street in Hillcrest Heights at about 5.30 p.m. Saturday, authorities said. And that's not even late. I mean, the sun is still up at that time, right? Khan had been shot multiple times and was transported to a hospital. He died Sunday morning. He was 71 years old. Khan had been working as a rideshare driver at the time of the killing. Police said an initial investigation showed he worked as a lift driver. His family said the carjacker shot Khan and then stole his car. Right, so they were after his car. This guy was a community figure for 20 years, you know. He knew so many people. His distraught nephew, Aga Raza Ali, said these people, they don't have no value. They just killed him and left him on the street, you know, like he's nobody. This is the worst part of it. Family members knew something was wrong when Khan didn't answer his phone and didn't come home on Saturday. His nephew spent hours searching, talking to police and checking area hospitals before relatives learned he'd been murdered. Uh, I've received at least around 200 or 300 calls, people asking me, when is the funeral? We want to come because people knew, his, knew this guy. He was, a, he was such a genuine guy, Ali said. Lyft said in a statement that the company is heartbroken by this tragic incident. Our hearts are with Mr. Khan's loved ones during this incredibly difficult time and we're in touch with Mr. Khan's family to offer our support. We will continue to assist law enforcement in any way we can and we will continue our efforts to combat the senseless violence and help keep drivers safe. You better step it up, Lyft. Big time. Khan came to the US from Pakistan in search of a better life. He lived in Fairfax County and is survived by his wife and 16-year-old daughter. In 2017, he was hailed as a hero and received an award for bravery for intervening when an Alexandria police officer was being attacked. He jumped in and he saved that police officer's life. Anyone with information on the crime is asked to contact police. A reward of up to $25,000 is available. Let's find this thug. Um, keep your eyes and ears open. Anybody that has you know, maybe cameras set up somewhere at the house, like a ring. Anyone that had maybe a dash cam in their car that maybe could have caught something. Um, anything will help, right? We've got to find the perpetrator, uh, the man who killed this innocent Lyft driver and bring them to justice. And again, on March the 17th on St. Patrick's Day, we are all fighting for better, better safety for drivers worldwide, my friends. So on that day, switch off your apps and take a stand and make a statement. Be safe, everyone.